everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back with another layout and today I'm doing a two page Tuesday layout from Christmas. Ju um, Christmas just, well, when I'm videoing this or recording this, it's not a month ago, but it will be, I believe, by the time that you see this. So anyway, I am going to use that cut file along the bottom of this page to the left and that's a cut file from my Secret Not Secret Advent Calendar. I don't get the regular Kit Club, but just to try something different, I got the Advent Calendar and it was really fun and a special treat every morning to um, open it up. And I only have one of these because it came in this kit, in the Kit Club. And I wanted to use it in a strip along the bottom of this two page layout, but now how do I do that, right? Because the other side doesn't have it. So I decided to make something in common. I would put some vellum below. So that's what I'm going to do side to side. And you'll have to tell me if you think it was successful or not. I go back and forth on whether I think in the end this worked or not. Um, but it's done and I do love that cut file and I'm so glad that it's done. And I did use, on the cut file, I did use um, L Studio uh, paper there in the cut file. I think except for the gingerbread man is I think a crepe paper um, paper. So I've arranged my photos in a collage there and I'm um, the biggest one of my oldest grandson with his with their new puppy is on the left to kind of call attention to it and then the other photos are on the right. So I'm just kind of playing around with different elements that I can use. That North Pole tag on the far right there is from the advent calendar and so is that present cut file as well. So I am looking at my die cuts here from, um, let's see, I wrote it down guys and I'm sorry I'm not finding it quite as fast as I would like from the Pebbles Cozy and Bright collection from last year. They're the um, printed cardstock shapes. So that's where that elf came from and um, the little elf on the toadstool as well. And I just like it because it's bringing some green in. I feel like I'm lacking color here. It's very red. So um, I'm going to use that green holly paper that you just saw on top of the red ho 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 paper. So the holly paper right there is from Photoplay. It's the Muttcracker collection, as in M-U-T-T. -T. Um, and then the um, paper is called Muttcracker. And it does have like dogs on the back that look like nutcrackers actually. So um, that's where that came from. And I'll use that to back each of the kind of photo collages. I'm going to just round one corner here. It would be the top outside corner on both sides. And that's because I think it gives it a little softness and it helps your eye stop by doing that because it has a place that's different on both sides than the other corners that you can see. So I just thought that that was kind of a nice way to do it. And it sort of looks like, you know, the paper's tucked under the vellum so that it just made sense to kind of stop it there. That vellum is, um, by the way, from the Paper Studio, which is the Hobby Lobby brand. And that December card there is from L Studio. I got them last year, but I believe that you can also still get them. They came in packs of red ones or green ones last year. That's how I bought them. So there's a lot of white on them. And so I, I don't use them all that often because a lot of times I want more color but I do like them when I have a bigger story to tell because there's a really nice um, area to, to uh, write. And then if I need to, I'll add embellishments to the card into some of the white area as well to give myself a little bit more room to work with. So this acrylic is also from L Studio that came, um, I don't remember if I bought it or if it came in one of the uh, packs this year, but that is from L Studio from this past year. So I'm happy to have that on a layout. And I just popped some um, some ATG on the back of that uh, vellum on the right side. And I did that because I know it's going to be hidden. I know I'm going to be overlapping the photos over that. 
So you can kind of see there the expression on my granddaughter's face. Um, and these photos on the right, by the way, are not very clear. And the reason that is, is because they were so busy holding kids and managing kids and managing a puppy. And then my stepson was actually videoing, videoing their reactions, which are priceless. And if I'm having a bad day, I look at the video from this, seriously. Um, so I actually, everything on the right side is a screenshot from that video. So it's not completely clear, but it's pretty good. And then the um, left one is a photo that they did take later in the day, but I just thought it that was a nice kind of focal point. So my granddaughter right there, that reaction is priceless. If you look at the two photos just to the left of her on the top and the bottom, that's my grandson as he's, the first one is as he's realizing there's a dog in there. And then the second one is as he's actually pulling the flaps back. And like I said, they didn't really, they didn't fully close those flaps, um, but they were a little bit closed. So now I'm adding in that little um, North Pole Express um, special delivery uh, sticker from my Secret Not Secret Kit Club. So I think that's kind of awesome that that got on this. And that um, present is also, um, of we got some small, cut files one day which are really cute which I need to do more of those and just kind of pop them in my December daily just because they're cute and you know and I could um, cut them out of the paper that I'm using there's another one so I decided to use the snowman elf on the right side just because I like the fact that he was red and I wanted a little bit more red there because so much green was thro going to th show through the present um, and now that I think about it I actually probably could have done like that that's uh, present in like the light blue that's down at the bottom and brought that some some of that up to the top so that's just a little bit of a hint for you of something you could do I do bring that light blue in a, another way but I could have done that so I'm using a peppermint candy there and that again is from the cardstock shapes uh, the die cut shapes from cozy and bright I think I've caught up on everything uh, that I've used and I'm just going to add a little bit of my foam tape on the back of this. I did think about some ornaments there for a little bit in that mix, which were I just cleared them off the right side there, but decided not to. And then that picture on the far right is my three-year-old grandson. And he is the early bird in the family. Like quite often he's up at five o'clock in the morning. But on this particular morning when he's getting a new puppy, he was tired and wanted to sleep. <laughs> so it was really cute because the whole video was him trying to go back to sleep when he was being encouraged to help unwrap the package because it was a special family present. So anyway, just it's so ironic that that's the child that is always up early and on this particular day when he was getting a new puppy he just wanted to sleep now one of the reasons i dropped that snowman down there and used that instead of the elf as well is there was just um i think it was packages or something it wasn't it was in that um frame of that photo and it wasn't very exciting but i didn't want to trim it anymore and i didn't want to make it any bigger just because it's not clear to begin with that three by four these are all three by four photos on the far right um, so I just put him a little bit lower so he would take up some space here. And as I was saying, you know, I didn't put this, um, the photos, not the photos, the strip on the right side. There's no strip. So I'm still not sure that's successful. I probably could have dropped those photos down just a little bit more and, um, had, less of a um, less kind of just white space showing there I guess and I don't know that I told you who the red ho 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 paper was by that's from Pebbles Merry Little Christmas it's the Santa on the go paper and then I'm now just adding in some phrase stickers from L studio those are our stickers from I believe the that I bought this year they had them available I think I had maybe one from last year but anyway so that's where they came from so if you're looking for phrase stickers with Christmas phrase stickers they might still be available I don't know that for sure but one of them says Christmas morning which is this was Christmas morning that's where the title of this came from and then the other one says pure happiness because oh my gosh the the 
the look on my oldest grandson's face in both of those two pictures on the right page, the far left pictures are just amazing. And then my granddaughter's face too, when she realized that it was a puppy, just, she just, she's um 21 months old in these pictures. Just, it was, it was so cute. Okay, so I'm looking for a few more things to maybe use here. And I do like this little peppermint here. And that is from Cozy and Bright, the puffy stickers. So I popped it on that just kind of as a little accent because that North Pole sticker was all by itself. And there's no like burgundy on this, but there's that black or black brown in the... Um, gingerbread cookie on the far left in the cut file so I thought those kind of pulled those two together a little bit there's that there's that darkness so I'm pulling my under the tree pop drops and I bought I bought these one year and then bought them a couple successive years and didn't use them all up so I knew I had more of these light blue ones to use up so I was looking for where they were so that's why you saw me do that so I'm just going to add three in each of the clusters somewhere not that I don't know where they're going, just it's somewhere in those clusters I'll add them. And I use some of the big ones, some of the little ones. Some of them are on edges of things. Some of them are kind of floating. Some of them are tucked underneath things. And here's where I realize I need to move that candy. But I don't really like it down there anymore once I put the... Um, the enamel dots down so I put it up on that present in the middle of the bow which I really kind of like. Now I'm looking to figure out where to put the third one. And in the end I just I will decide to put the um, blue one I think I stick it right in the middle of the the present there. Ah, there we go. No, I'm going to do it. Okay. I was pretty sure I had done it, but I didn't see myself do it. So <laughs> that's sometimes what happens anyway. All right, guys. So I am basically done now. Here is the still shot coming up and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well. Hope you're getting your Christmas scrapping done too. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.